for the action on the field at all times. Soccer balls can enter the stands at a high rate of speed. Underway in the River City. The service, whipped in, headed towards goal and into the back of the net. Beats Carlos Marancio at the back post and Richmond flies to a great start. Back on that sideline, that's his staple for Richmond. But the men in white going forward now. Shot from distance, Fitzgerald as always there to parry it away. Picked his head up, laces through the ball, and a save by Fitzgerald. Miguel Hayes takes his space, finds Moape. They've attacked through this left wing very often again, they do so. Thompson in the middle, ball loose, still loose. The shot is stopped. Couldn't tell if it was blocked or saved. Still in the danger area, Kraft towards goal. Terzaghi finds the back of the net for the third time this season. Kraft's initial shot blocked. Terzaghi cleans it up. Marancio very unhappy at the back. And the absolute stone design replay for Tucson. Now they have to deal with something again. Another interception in the attacking half by Richmond. Falk down the wing. Silva there. Turns Falk around. Gets it in the middle. Terzaghi in space. On his right foot. The shot is saved by Marancio. Excuse me. Booth heading that one clear. Kraft looks up to goal, has a shot, and it's parried away by Marancio. We've seen a couple of crazy 2-2 draws already in USL League One this season. Silva in the middle. Dennis stuck underneath his foot. Up to Adams, a shot, finds the side netting. Here we go again, Tucson, the late charge. It's alive. The substitute, Dennis, gets it into Adams, and he beats Fitzgerald. The first time. Ellie Velton. On the wing, sent in, knocked in, and just wide. At the back post, Longdon. Tucson hoping to avoid a second consecutive narrow two to one defeat. Long ball, Shaq Adams uses his speed, keeps it in. Down the end line, in, saved by Fitzgerald. Off the chest. Past six minutes of stoppage time now. And there will be no more. The final whistle. Richmond, two victories in a row. Sawatsky beats his former team.